Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Monday. It's Ladder Leverage Day. And we got Mr. Andasama with us. How are we doing today, sir? What's up? I'm fine, my friend. How are you? Good. I'm glad you uh, accepted the invite. We haven't had you on in a minute. Um, always oh, a good yeah. time, Mr. Sama. Um, <laughs> and he wanted to jam some uh, Patricidal Fury, the updated list that can be imported at uh, teamleviathangaming.com slash meta. Um, and this is, you, how, how high did cams get this up to? Like currently our um, cams is the first player on the ladder. So this, and this I think he has like two five fifty affection or or so with uh, Skellige. Yeah, in a, in and, a short and season, yeah, that's, that's pretty impressive. I mean, yeah, I mean it's like seven days I think now or six days since uh, the season started. It's not as uh, infamous though as the 20, <laughs> 2600 adds a cough uh, Maddox list, but <laughs> this will. I mean, this will get you there, man. This is. Uh... It will get you there. I mean, it has fish flappers. You're right. It's uh, it's just Skellige doing Skellige things. I mean, they they just have a lot yep. of points. Uh, the bronze cards just carry you. Um, a couple games today, uh, we had one against everybody's favorite friend, the Lippy, which y you guys can see how not to play Lippy. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, what was the other game? Um, uh, the other game was Nature's Gift. Nature's Gift, yeah. So uh, a a wide a wide uh, player style and then a uh, high uh, high ceiling with the you know the well I guess they go wide too with all the little trees nature's gift um, yeah one thing uh, we will say though is uh, you're extremely unfavored against V so if you're running into V a lot um, might want to switch out of this <laughs> uh, yeah, in, in general uh, the monster matchup is pretty bad for Skellige this season so yeah. they just there's nothing you can interact with they they just keep putting out the points and they go back in the deck. It's, I don't know. I hope they give V devotion and just, you know, you can get yeah. a couple, get a, you know, two or three consumes out of it. But if it gets locked or killed, like, you know, good for you. You just built your whole deck around a card that's going to do nothing for you. So, <laughs> um, that's my, my fix for it personally. Let me know what you guys think. Um, uh, Mr. Anda, thank you for stopping through, sir. We appreciate you. Um, make You're sure you welcome. guys make sure you guys check out uh, Team Leviathan Gaming. Uh, there's a new budget guide up that was um, put together by uh, Wasubi and uh, former uh, teammate Mr. Hippo. So if you're newer, definitely check that out. It uh, helps you with the keys, how to build, and uh, crafting and stuff like that. So that's always uh, super helpful for new players to get a jump start on the game. Um, but uh, episode 82. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you at the end. Because next season or the season afterwards, we get uh, uh, the next uh, Lunar New Year team. So Lippy on red. Oh, Lippy no, on, on red blue. should be... Yeah, they are on blue, but we are on red, so that's pretty nice. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, Does we Bear Witch could... do anything this round? It doesn't really. I mean, it can help something to kill later on. Can we just on. drop the Mork Varg? It doesn't do anything, right? Uh, it can if they play like Snowdrop. So I would keep it. I would probably kick the Flapper, honestly, here. It's too slow. And one Hunter. And one Hunter. Yeah, one is more than enough here. There we go. Yeah, what, huh? No Protector, though. Yeah, that's kind of meh. But I mean, we could also just kind of slow play here. That's what he does. So we still just raiding fleet turn one, or do we just play the hunter? Uh, I would play the hunter first. Hunter ping anything. Honestly, doesn't really matter what we ping here. That works. Having a protect, although they play heat wave and stuff too, so. Yeah. That's one gunning slash. Nice. Uh, we just drop a radar here. We raid, we fight, we plunder. Full service! An arrow. What's he grabbing up? Okay. Oh, he does play Snowdrop. Cool. 
That's nice. Like if uh, we probably just play the Great Sword as our next play. Right. And if and if he then plays something like Bienna, like another big tempo play, we just can just pass. And don't have to like commit anything at all. Right. Like if you see now, we're like twenty seven points behind. Which is fine. Right. I mean, like, we just damage anything here. And that gets uh, our blood first. Right. And like if he decides to go for a pass, you can just like raiding fleet, play the other boat from our hand. So he does play the burner, so we just get out. Yeah, we get out, like... He played with three pretty big temple plays. So we can just easy Q out of this round. Let's not get in the way of the axe. Yeah, you just help him thin, you just make his lippy better, right? Yeah. And like, we also have our graveyard enabled now, like we got... The best Yarma target we can get, we have the best uh, Herald target. Right. Hemdall's good. Hemdall is pretty nice. That we needed. Nice, is there anything nice. we really want? Uh, uh, maybe location. Like, I would. Um, let's see what can we kick. We can kick the Blacker, honestly. It's a nice play, but we have like enough safe damage stuff here. Kick what? The Berserker, yes. And the Slash, huh? And the Slash, yeah, like... He uh, should run, like, some Hunters. But right. we can... Or we should be able to manage to remove them. So he played one Gunning Slash. Yep. And one Hunter. He kicked the hunter. And he played Burna. Yep. And then he uh, discarded one uh, skirmisher with the uh, with the sweater gem, with the mask of Uroboros. What? Already? Uh, uh, so he's going for the two zero. He, he just kicked his. Just one more uh, other, well, he has a getting slash left. Yeah, I mean, like, he, b b before his lippy, he had one gut, uh, gutting slash and one hunter left, and after the lippy, he still has one of those left. So we just play raiding fleet on Morkvar, huh? Uh, yeah. Just easy raiding fleet on Mor Morkvar. And then we get a protector rolling. Huh? Is he gonna go for yep. the 2 0? I don't know, honestly. It looks like it. Snowdrop, okay. So we're gonna get more bird value, that's good. That is always a delight to see. But I mean, yeah, we, we just assemble our Exodia, get the protector running. You shan't get three! Would he play Burna here too? Oh, well, he gets a skill, so he gets another Don't you thing on the snowdrop, which is good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't really matter since we just uh, mock Rocker. So we get the the double going on. Yeah, and then we just ping the Roach and the Skald, so we have uh, one more blood first thing we need. For the off chance that he like, um, can I one of them? I don't think this is correct. What he's doing here at all. Uh, I don't think a single of his plays so far has been really correct. Honestly, we could just uh, play the Morkvak here. You think? Or or we just drop the raider. Like, realistically, he only has one more discard, since he played Bianna and one Skull, so he has only one Skull left here. And how does he discard it? Oh, okay, I see what you're saying, here. Yeah. yeah, like, we like we might lose out on two points here, but not, not that we really care. We just threaten him. And yeah, and we just go for the pings and 
suddenly we are ahead if he passes. Yeah, that works. <laughs> so yeah, that that seems to be like an easy game here. <laughs> yeah, you saw his burn. Like this is all gas that he could have played in. The, like I would have played all my dumb stuff and then played yeah, all the I way mean, down, but I wouldn't have lippy. I mean, I would have probably just passed after the lippy, so to make sure that I get to draw the good cards. Drop the hunter. But I mean. Yeah, we dropped the hunter here. It's easily the worst card. Uh, what do we have left in deck? Yalmar, two gutting slashes, and Skordle. Uh -huh. So, we can just keep this here, honestly. Like, the gutting slashes aren't really that great. Like, only Yalmar and Skordle are cards that we really want to so get. We just, but do we drop the raider or do we drop the totem? Just the totem. Like,. Uh, maybe bait him out uh, another cutting slash or something. Right. Uh, can you show his graveyard to see if he like? Yep, he used it. Discard anything? Yeah, he got rid of his artifact depression. Hot. Okay. Nickers okay. finally showed up. <laughs> so we proc yeah. it now, or? Yeah, we can just proc it now and play the yeah. Herald honestly. No, no, the the Herald. Max value though. Yeah, yeah, just just weed it out. It shouldn't really matter oh, here. Adam, you lazy bastards! You'll sleep when you're dead. Do we just go for the eight, or do we take the full ten? Mm. I think we can just go for the greatsword, honestly. Do we need to kill anything? There's nothing we need to kill with. There, there shouldn't be like the the best thing here is to that's that's way of killing is like a five or a six. Yeah. And we can uh, always get it easily. There's the series. So we get this. Is, we get the hem doll. Yeah. The, the yeah. Series. I mean. Oh. That. Sure. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> Do we just take the getting slash on it? I think so. Yeah. No reason to give him any hope. Got you like fishes. <laughs> give him any hope. <laughs> I, I mean, so he has the other uh, shield maiden in hand. That is pretty much what he has. Yeah, like uh, he has to have it. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense to play it like this. Don't. Yeah. Um, not really anything that we can do against the totem, so we can just play the Raider here. They do play Igni. Don't they? Sim? I mean, there are definitely some that play Igni, but we can just look out for it. Is that 20 up front? Mm, That's 19. It's, uh, it's a 19, yeah, so it's fine. Women, children, elders. Ah, uh, no. kinda sad ping. But I mean, if he doesn't trigger the totem now, we can just kill it with the Bear Witcher. So he gets that. Oh, we get the... Our shields are our ramparts! Alright. Okay. Nice, nice. <laughs> oh yeah, we get the ping value. Nice. <laughs> but that's his heat wave, right? He just heat Yeah, wave. I mean, it's either a heat wave or an Igni. Maybe even a Curse of Corruption, but... So we just Honestly. drop the Berserker, huh? Or do we get go yeah. for the... Bear we Witcher. don't have to play the Bear Witcher yet, like, it does, doesn't really matter. We can just drop the uh, Berserker. And maybe even get the Blood First free going now. Easy. Do we use the... Uh, we can. We can actually just ping one of the sixes. What are we grabbing up Squirtle, huh? We just kill that, huh? Because he wants to use the location. Oh, my God. Uh, I mean, he didn't play the location yet, so it's fine. What? Why would he hit that? <laughs> I, I mean, he denies us one point, right? So... It is questionable, but it is what it is. So we just take the Squirtle now. Mm, honestly, I would just play 
a leader on the front row. Go location and play the Bear Witcher Mentor. Leader front row. Yes. And then uh, location. And we get the Bear uh, I would play the back row because we still have space in back row. And I would play the Bear Witcher Mentor, that's the second one. This dude, yes. The chunky boy. Yeah. Like, just look at this big boy. <laughs> I guess so many. You, you get so many points from this that, like, very rarely yeah. you use this, so. That's huge. Oh. Yeah, and I mean, now we filled up his uh, melee row, so he, here, if he, like, has another skirmish that he discards, he can't get it out. Which he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Alright. Uh, now, we, now we just dropped the uh, Bear Witcher, honestly. We can hit like the six and the anything. Five, yeah, yeah it, it doesn't really matter, honestly. We proc it. We can. Like they don't run I, not... or anything like that. So yeah, I mean, I don't think any any play here matters anymore. Yeah, I mean this handle. Look at this handle. Oh, well, he still gets the full value on it. Oh! Hoo -hoo. Make it back to the keep by sundown or freeze. So where do we go? We go. And uh, I think just Blood Eagle, honestly. Blood Eagle, and then we can hit. Like if if we are feeling extremely high rolly, we can. Um, Blood Eagle the free that's next to the location, and then just high roll the Harold ping on it. Ah, I see. And we just Skewardle? Or did we Yalmar? Yalmar is more points, but I think for maximum BM value we can just play the Protector, honestly. I mean... Oh, the Protector? No, we, I don't want to end up on <laughs> Dandelion show. So we go Yalmar. Yeah, Yalmar then just... Uh, Hit the uh, bear with your mentor. We don't really have anything at all, unfortunately, but it's fine. Oh, we didn't get it. Ah, that is kind of sad. <laughs> I don't even think he beats it here. Igni's only 15, right? And then he gets three three back. Yeah, like, nothing should be remotely close here. Maybe he plays something like in Irden here, which plays for like 15 points or so, maybe. But, uh, oh, the front row, yeah. Yeah, I mean, as I said, there's nothing that plays for like 25 points. Or like, he needs even more than 25 points. You only, like, really, dude? <laughs> really? I think uh, he's you gonna burn it. Let's see what he burns. Sure. Heat wave. Heat wave. Okay. For that one, dude, you get the. <laughs> I don't normally do that, but you're gonna rope the last turn. That's it. That's that's worse than playing after your last play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try one more. Gift, okay. Here's the better be than in your wildest, wettest dreams. So we got double pings. Okay, okay. Um. We can kick the Herald since we don't need him in the first round. Mm. Getting slash? We could just keep it. I would probably just kick the Fish Lepper, honestly. Let me stop there. Or did we and kick? that should be fine. Like, Yeah, we just keep this, I think. and then. So we still just start out with the Hunter, huh? Yeah, just the hunter. Maybe get uh, a rebuke out of him. 
so that we can uh, get like all the ships for our protectors out. Yep, there's one. Good, good. So we just we just play it and uh, TA the boat. Mm, I would probably just play the uh, one of the two protectors that we have. See if and he hits that. Huh? Yeah, like see if he has another rebuke in hand or if he has to play the force protector to get rid of it. I mean, him, him using those rebukes early, I mean, and he doesn't have an answer for Harold. Yep. Like, if you just get one protector to stick and get, like, both boats out, that is pretty... That's pretty much what we want to get here. How do we get the other boat out? Uh, we can just Blood Eagle one of the grants that he spawns. Oh, and then use... Uh... And then we get... Um... Vabion, yeah, Vabion with it, and then just uh, get the raiding fleet. So there's the charge. Though trees yeah. live longer than humans. And now we can just uh, basically do that. Uh, Blood Eagle, the one. Play the Vabion, and that uh, the ship out of the raiding fleet. <laughs> Reasons for the fable of heart. Yep, we ping it and probably also just uh, straight up TA the boat now. Yeah, that works. And now we kind of force him to play another rebuke or the forest protector to get rid of the protector. So which one do we drop first? We we drop the protector first and then the longship? Yeah, especially now that he... like. Because he plays the Forest Protector now, it should mean that he doesn't have another Rebuke in his hand. Which means the second Protector is safe now, and then the board also. Get what do we ping? I would just, I would just uh, ping the Dryad, honestly. Yeah. We don't want him to like uh, give it the Vitality to, to make it grow again, that would be pretty annoying. Yeah, he did though. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It was, it was bound to happen, man. Exactly. So now we drop the other boat. Or do we do yeah, the, the Berserker first? Uh, the, the problem is with Berserker first, we um, lose out on... Like, we kind of have to commit more into the ground. So just drop the boat and start pinging. Kill the twos, or...? Uh, or I would probably drop the... Bloodthirst. Yeah, I would probably get uh, the blood first. Most of these are devotion, right? So they don't have. Yeah, there should be like no heat wave, earth. no curse, just good old wholesome points. Uh, nature cards, some dryads here, some trends there. Do we commit totem this round? Uh. Wow. Probably not. Okay. I mean, sure, he kills one boat, which is honestly fine for us. So we drop the greatsword first? Yep, we drop the greatsword to the left of the protector, then just ping the fourth. It doesn't get us ahead, but I don't think he's just gonna pass here. We're okay, a card down. I mean, yeah, we just have to draw or get Harold out. He used a lot though. Like all his rebukes are gone. He doesn't have the fob tutor anymore. She doesn't have protector anymore. Like he still has some good, uh, like his uh, higher provision cards, but not sure if that matters that much. Right. 
tempering. Okay. Yeah. So we just drop our boy, huh? Yeah, we drop the berserk, and that should be enough points. Yeah, now he can't pass. Yep. We might even get the gutting slash. Nah. Maybe. Ooh. Next, we're playing the totem, though. Huh? Yep. Next up is the totem, and then we we'll probably just play the. More quack if we need to. Circle. Circle of. Okay. So he's putting that on something. And interactive. Yep. <laughs> Do we have enough here? Can we pass? Ah, uh, let's see. We get two points just simply because of the transformation. Then we get another point on the protector. And then we get another one on the one damage. Sword. Yeah, it should be a tie. So we could just pass here. Yeah, and he doesn't want a tie. We, uh, probably not, yeah. So we can just go for the pass here, I think. Cause he wants a longer round. He wants to s swarm it up, build up a yep. dryad. What do we have left in deck? A lot. We still got Hemdall, Squirtle, mm -hmm. Bear Witcher, Yarma. Location. Okay, okay. We still got plenty of options. That's nice. And we for sure have the. The, the Blood Eagle or the Herald with all the stuff yep. he drops on the ground. I think he's gonna. No. Wow! He held that. Oh, he, so he wasted his carryover too. Yep, that is interesting. So he got one point of carryover. Yep. Right? We just get rid of the slash, right? Yeah, the slash is pretty bad in this matchup. Uh, we could kick the Bear Witcher and keep the other Witchers. Uh, <laughs> <Shit. laughs> well, Sometimes you gotta love those Mulligans. So we're just yeah, playing that depth, Yep. So what do we lead off with? Oh, I guess the Pumpkin is good. I mean, we have the Totem. That's pretty much always our opening play. Well, I guess if we draw all the bad cards, we can put them back in the back. Yep. We kick one Gutting Slash for sure, and now we just probably kick the other one. Do we ah, let's... play the Raider to get rid of one of the possible Dryads? Mm. Um, because she, they're gonna have Ethne, right? Yeah. Oh, but he boosts them up anyways, right? But then we could still kill it with Blood Eagle. Yeah, we can just play the Raider now, as you said. Seems like a go to play. Kill the zones. Kill yeah, because they usually... He might overswarm here if he starts off with Ethne. That might also happen, yeah? Like, it depends if we kill any of those... Uh, Riot. Right. Pyro. Well, huh. Pyro tech, okay. We hunt. Don't need jiggleless. Um I think we just dropped the uh, totem here in the back row. And chill for now. Yeah, that seems fine. He gets a circle of life here if he does get it. Yeah, but I mean, he has to snipe it first. Mm -hmm. This is true. And it, 
And if he doesn't play something like a Tempo Ring and triggers the Pyrotech, we have a Blood Eagle target here. Since it goes down to two. Yeah, and he's out of rebukes. Cat Witcher. Yeah. Oh, well, that was Okay. Good. That is Jesus. nice. I prefer L. Yeah. Okay, that's nice, I guess, for him. So we kill the Cat Witcher, yeah? Yeah, we bring the Cat Witcher and then get out the. Herald. The Herald, yes. What are we resin? Just another one of those raiders, huh? Uh, we didn't put any raider in the deck, uh, in the graveyard, so... Oh, not yet, yeah, not yet. Ah, uh, let's see what we have. We Great could sword. just get the greatsword, honestly. And do we flip the... the uh, we don't really have to, but... Might be better to do it, actually. Also, I would, yeah, yeah. Play a back row. I would have probably played a back row because of Gazwas, but that, oh, it's still fine. Shit. I think. Oh shit! Yeah. How do we kill that? We can't. Oh, we got uh, the Yalma. Yalma. We we just Yalma it. Also, we could just um, play the radar and keep the charge on it, and then kill it with the bear. Bear Witcher. We can get from the. What is it called? The location. Yeah. Yeah, we should have went all back row, that's on me. Yeah, Yeah, but I mean, I also didn't think about it until now, so it's still fine. Do we just go Raider? Or do we play the Flapper? I, I would probably just play the Flapper now. Gotcha. No, no, damn it. So next, well, next we go Raider. Most likely Raider, yes. I mean, if it hits this great sword, it's not really that big of a deal because we're gonna. Oh, there's the Ethne. Okay, that's all right. So we bear Witcher now <laughs> to kill that nah. to three. Ah, do we? I mean, we can do that, yes. pretty good. It is pretty good, but uh, then we have to uh, uh, get rid of the Gazwas with uh, Yalma. Which might not be that bad. Right. And we don't even have to proc the totem. This thing can just keep pinging yep. bad stuff and... Like if the the, the cat would just pings the the fish flapper, it just kind of plays for one point a turn. Right. So it, since it just heals up again. Oh, he plays it now. Yep. Yeah, that's fine for us, I think. And he played it back row. Hush. <laughs> yeah, I mean he hits the front row now, which is three points. So we just Yalmar and smack it. Yes, we kind of have to. Just adapt, yes. Nice. Uh, we could trigger the location so that uh, our adept gets some armor value. Or do you want to wait? Uh, like it, it, it kind of depends on what the cat would try. It's so I would probably <laughs> right. just. Uh, <laughs> So I would probably just heal here, honestly. Alright. So now we don't have to worry about... Yeah, now we can just continue playing melee row. Uh, also, we probably just want to play the leader next, and then the raider, so that we get the uh, blood points. activated. And well, then we can just uh, instantly kill the second right that he has. So we go back row? Uh, I mean, he doesn't have Gazwa, so it shouldn't really matter. So we can just go back real well, we, we are setting up a uh, gate in form, too. But it's the same either way, right? Yeah, like, yeah, he gets it either way. So I would just... Uh, you can just play it. 
meta here. And we kill the two, huh? Yes. I think we got him, man. I think we got him. We got a really bad Morph Bark, but... I mean, Morph Bark plays for like... 7 points, 8 points with uh, Herald, at least. <laughs> nice. Oh, we do get the value, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. You love to see it. Oh, Angel. And. Oh. Wait. Why did he give him the vitality? But I mean, yeah, that's You're just an easy slap on the Witcher. And he shouldn't make uh, for 5 points here. Yeah, he gets 2 from the. Possible 2. I mean, yeah, no way. Gorgeous, yeah. Just too nice. Yeah. <laughs> it did and I mean, the colored or the the armored one. Mm -hmm. Good game. GG's, Mr. Varakuta. Mr. Anda, thanks for hanging out, sir. It's been a minute. Um, good to have you back on Ladder Leverage. We appreciate you. Cheers. No problem. Um, do you know of anything coming from the website that I don't know? Um, just uh. They put out the crafting guide. Wasn't it crafting for uh, new It new was players? the... Yeah, it was like the budget stuff. Yeah, budget decks. That's what it was. Uh, Hippo yeah. helped out with that too. So, shout out to the Hippo for coming yeah. through. And with Subi. Um, but uh, that's another episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.